Morning! Hello and welcome to my daily vlog. So we do a video every day about life on the farm. Um, yesterday we were working very late into the night drilling at Spring Barley. We did a couple of lives, so if you were subscribed, um, then you would have been notified. We had a special, special guest rock up at the field. Um, so yeah, I'll put that in. It might, it might be now or it might be later in the video. Well, you, you'll find out in one second. For those uh, who didn't watch the live last night, somebody turned up to see me. Done it in daylight so you can see it. Yeah. Oh, it's Mr. That? B. He came on his bike, which must be like, must be three mile, is it? We'll be getting on that way, I bet. Right, so anyway, um, is it field? <laughs> I'm thinking of trying to get it like out of the field, maybe so save his legs from um, cycling all the way home. So thinking about putting it in the hopper. We could try it. We could. Yep. <sighs> the speed. Full moon. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Yeah, a bit yeah, wibbly wobbly that. Um, yeah, so we've got the bike in the back of there. Um, Mr. B's hopefully in one piece in his shorts. Coming in grease now. Are you? Yeah. Shouldn't have any grease on it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there it is, the uh, hybrid drill. It was lovely and clean until it came down in. Half bike, half cedar. Yeah, you've been cleaning it with special polish, haven't you, Summer? Yeah, Mr. Blue's giving me some his detailer. Oh. That you spray on whilst it's wet. And then it, like a repellent to keep it clean, so we'll see. See how I'm, I'm not sure Mr. Blue's like normally dealing with such dirt. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a kebab shop now. Kebabilon. You've had a chicken Kiev. I have. <laughs> Still, it doesn't stop me. I can <laughs> justify it now. I've got yeah, a bike. He's just done three miles so he can have a kebab. Oh, jeez. Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> Push bike, so I can see this bit here. Oh, yeah. So, my dad dumped the fault lift, so I've been had to go around. So, that bit didn't get done. It not matter because I'm going over with power hour anyway, but you know. So, he safely got back. Mr. B says he's hungry, so we're gonna to go to the kebab place and get some it. We're gonna have to get his bike down first, so. He's like a teenager. Oh, that's weird, isn't it? Reflection. Anyway, we had some seed left in the bucket. Dad's just gonna pour that in now. So I've got enough for later today. So we're all about feeding these guys and bedding them down. So that's what we're doing right now. The windows on this are fairly dusty because um, Noah was on doing a lot of milling yesterday. So yeah, we'll just uh, give them a wipe a bit later, I think. As you can see, they're still fairly well bedded up. But we like to give them extra straw every day, little and often. Yeah, and then they're always got a good bed. Always. Even on Christmas Day. Oh, Mister's here! Go in mucky windows. Looks happy, doesn't it? So just been blowing straw there. I need to push up this meal for these guys and give them a new mix, I think. Mm. You're not wasting a lot, are you? Yeah, I was using the uh, welly pusher. Not the lily pusher, the welly pusher. And then they'll come down and feed these in a minute. I don't know why, but it keeps running into these concrete panels. Like, you can drive well off them with the bucket because it's offset, but... I don't know. We've got the 215 up and running, and uh, we need to... Get some fuel and add blue in here so we can have a full day. Filling this up, mm. you don't look happy today. Oh, I'm just tired, mate, that's all. Long, day, long week at work? Yeah, I've been busy. Whitby, Whitby this weekend? No, no, no. Last? I don't know when I'm going. 
Oh, you went last weekend. Oh, I you? went last weekend for two days. Look who's ringing us now. Who is it? Ash. Ah. Flash Ash is ringing. Wait, we gotta go. Right, so that is the uh, the drill filled up with diesel. We had a little call with Ash. He's busy as anything. Someone were asking the other day what he's up to. I think he's, he'll be drilling the stuff with taters. So yeah, just yeah, got that much to do, I think. It's unreal. So I've got my stuff together, the all important man food bag. And um, we better start a day of drilling. Day two. Although these clouds ain't looking so promising, are they? It's not supposed to rain, but there has been a few spots here and there. This is the happening. And we're about to get on here. So we're on it. We'll get up there and get this day started. Spots on the wind, on the body. Oh no! So I've got to the field and it has started raining a little bit. Um, so hopefully we can get at least this one finished off. I don't know, maybe we'll be all right. Maybe it's just a shower. He's back there was eggs. were fetching so much clay around on them it pulls the um turnable fender out that way and was sort of like i had to stop to get the fender to come back so i didn't risk ripping it off jeez that were bad little fly kicking down there all in fertilizer so just drilling up the side of this path sometimes i wonder if this is just any point because the amount of motorbikes that go up and down here is ridiculous. Um, I think there's um, this. This is not our field, so at some, if we were to have it, we would dig a ditch right down the side of this path and stop all that. But we can't, so we're not gonna. Right, yesterday I was having issues because. The front, when I used iTech, so the sort of headland management software, it automates the um, the sequence at the end of the run. So basically, like it lifts my front press up, lifts the drill up, shuts off the the revs, sort of changes the engine speed, all things like I can change gears and everything. But it all does it on one button or two buttons, up and down. Um, and it wasn't working when I wanted to drop the front in. Uh, it wouldn't drop down, so every time I was having to manually drop the pressing at the front there. Well, you know, I had to sleep on it, come back, looked into it, sorted it. So what had happened is, press high tech, drill, it was always when I was putting the drill down, it wasn't working. This here was on lower, but it needed to be in float. Or it appears to work in float, put that into float as well. And now, when I go for it, which I should be going for it now, press the button, oh, it drops down, fully automated, fantastic. So I'm just driving up a tram line now, you shouldn't really do this, but I am, so shoot me down. To get back to the top of the field and drill, um, yeah, drill the top headland because if you remember that side of the field, I nearly got stuck. That's when that that um, fender was getting bashed. So I'm not going back up that side. No way, not a bill. So the last run on here, and then we'll be down into the other fields where my dad and Noah, I think, are having a go at powering. So we got this bit done. Um, speaking to my dad, the other fields that. Um, was plowing ages ago remember it was wet well they've been with the power harrow and yeah it's way too wet to, to start thinking about that i have got my one contracting job of the year possibly um might go uh so we might be going to might go and do that this afternoon but we'll go back to the farm see big mick and uh, get some bacon sarnies in business so we're back in the yard looks like our ben's here me me grandma car park for Ben sat on the seat with his dog Whoa! Right, Michael I noticed 
Are you happy to see me? Yeah. Got them JCB welling tongs. Do you know what I'm getting? Come. Lorry sat nav. Well, uh, come. Cost Peaky Blinders on YouTube here. Not yeah. sure if he wants me to divulge his real name. Yeah. Sent Andy a wig. Yeah. Ages ago. You'll probably not remember. Yeah. And then I mean, he's got well. a spare sat. What a friend he is that he's got a spare sat nav. Yeah. HGV. He's sorting it out to us. What about me? I'm a GV. Yeah, you won't lend me your HGV sat nav. It's not mine, it's Ashes on there. Well, exactly! I don't, I don't want to break it. I, I could have, have, had, I could have had ashes and been using it, but yeah. you're hogging it. I'm not hogging it, I don't use it. I break it, I've got to pay for it. It's all right for you. More money. You, More you, money, money. you only go on M roads anyway, don't you? Yeah. Don't, I don't go on no little ones. <laughs> so, just been shoveling the seed out of the drill, which is lovely. But you can know, all say, should have got a seed sock. Well, when you drop it out of this drill, because it's an old one. It drops it all over the power hour first, so um, you'd have soil in it and stuff, so yeah, you have to shovel it out from top. Enjoy your uh, salad, Michael. Beautiful. Yeah, you're just feeling a bit hungry now, though. Mm. You haven't had enough calories. That's right. Yeah. Can't add it to a discovery, so. Right, so we'll get set off to do this bit of contracting now. So we've got it yet. Carl's gonna fill us up with these bags. We've got some disking going on. With the case over there through the mucky windows. The case is looking well there on that set of discs, isn't it? We are right next to the golf course, and I mean, even that looks a bit wet. So I've just put the markers down, just realised I've left my flashing lights on, so we better turn them off, haven't we? Don't want to look like that guy. Well, I already do. Um, <laughs> so. We can now put the pre-emergence lines down so the sprayer man knows where to go. We can get rocking. Getting down this field now, just been out and checked that the um, seed's still coming out. Which, um, which it is. To be fair, it stops coming out when it's in wet conditions and you back up and then you bump one of the culprits. This in here is very fine soil, so it's... Uh, it's, it's pretty tidy, isn't it? It's making a nice job. Looks like we've got some uh, digestate going on over there. Look at that, that's a dribble bar and a half, isn't it? Beast! Huge! Oh no, my marker's broken. Ugh. It's a good job that we've got GPS, isn't it? Um, it would be in trouble, I'm guessing it's snapped. Yeah. The, uh, snapped on there. Well, we've got the spring at least and a few bits together. It's a good job we got some of this stuff so we can tie it back up. I do like making a tidy job. And I think this is gonna look good when this comes up. Right, I'm on the Beastie TM. We'll, um, this is not ours. We'll uh, get it filled up with seed. So we're done here. This gateway is absolutely terrible, so I'm just gonna try and flag somebody down to, uh, to stop. Yeah, okay, snobby wants to stop for me, it seems. Um, I'll look at that window. Also, we can hear somebody coming. Flashing lights on, all my lights on. Really steady. Hopefully. Somebody will work out. Out, thank you. Right, I'm back home now. The weight is pulled up in shed. Hopefully that uh, that land dries off in the next couple of days. And we'll get rest of it drilled. That we've got to do at home. Looks like a toy that um 
that uh, power arrow the back of the 210, doesn't it? That and Ben are just feeding the pens now. Right, I've jumped on the 210. We'll get this um, power harrow dropped off because Ned doesn't think it'll go tomorrow. So, get it dropped off and we might be able to do something else then. Right, so we will pull the lever that way, push the lever the other way. Let it unfold. Then we should be able to get this dropped off. Right, so everything disconnected, so we'll drop the arms down and drive forward. Turn now on the mixer, sorted that job out. Obviously, I pulled this in away, so I'll have to pull this a bit further forward and maybe around to the corner, so we can get a 6.9 on. The boost! Right, I'm going to try and squeeze in down here. I feel like I've got something in my eye as well. Um, I'm just about to cry. Uh, I'm crying with happy tears of joy because yesterday, I'm sorry, David. Yesterday, David Cash, Casher was 60. Uh, and I forgot his birthday. I apologise. Um, it's love from Jane, Daniel and Sophie. And they've made a generous donation to um, Yorkshire Air Ambulance, these guys. So they're saving lives across South Yorkshire and donations like that massively help. So if anybody else wants to get their name in the video, usually I try and get it, um, you know, actually on the day. Um, try and send it the evening before the birthday or the morning of the birthday, and then I can get it on because it, it comes onto the Just Giving site sort of like in date order, you see. So they, I just look at the, the most recent ones and I put them on. If they're like put in advance, it goes right down the list and then I have to sort of like try and make a mental note of um, of when it is and then I get lost and you know what I'm like I've got like a mind like a sieve so um yeah that's that I'm gonna wash the 6 9 because she's absolutely filthy look at this look at this filth and it's like that on the windows as well and I need to go spraying um, Maybe not today, it might be a bit breezy. Uh, it might calm down a little bit later though. It usually does into the evening, the wind really drops. So we might be able to get some pre-emergent spray on that spring barley that we've finished off today. No, I'm all be all prepared, won't I? I'll have a clean tractor, I'll have my sprayer on, I'll know what I'm doing and um, I'll be able to go when the, when the weather's right. But I think this is probably where I'm gonna leave the video today. So hopefully you've, uh, you've liked it. We've done a bit of drilling, haven't we? Tried to get a bit of that in. Um, and yeah, if you have, press like, subscribe. Ben's going, he's absolutely shattered. He's got some cattle out today with my dad um, and other bits and bobs. So um, yeah, he's off now to uh, do whatever he's doing this evening. So hopefully everyone's having a great weekend and I will see you later. Bye guys, bye.